Hi and welcome to Another Gamers. The game today we're going to review is Black Market as part of the Indie Fort Bundle. Details about the developers and other bits and pieces like that will be in the description below. Okay, let's get started. First thing we'll do is take a look at the options screen. Now the options screen is fairly limited, just providing the ability to change your audio levels and also switch between full screen and windowed mode. Now the music can go up a fair way but not too overpowering. We're going to leave that at quite low level just so we can hear ourselves talk when we're doing the recording. Okay, let's get on with the game. Now, as you can see I've already got one character in progress but I'm going to start off again just so you can see how things pan out. Okay, we'll call this character Luke. And as you can see we've got two choices story mode and free trade mode. Free trade mode gives you the ability to free roam around the universe without worrying about the story or being forced to go to any particular place. You can play how you want. The story mode, whilst allows you freedom to move around the galaxy, does provide a direction in which the narrative takes. And we're going to start off with by having a look at the story mode. Black Market, we hear you. Try call News Network. Continuing a hunt for the notorious fugitive Robin Good, an anarchist synthetic with a taste for theatrics, criminologist and engineering diva Daniel Weaverman will be with us in the studio to talk a little bit about that later. Do not pretend you can't hear us. But first, some lighter news. Technicians working on Galford Gate today struck a bottle of champagne against the wormhole rig's newly restored North Quarter. Tricor has been quick to credit Confederate workers on the other side for the project's success and progress is on schedule for the grand reopening four months from now. It's a far cry from the wormhole's collapse two Februarys ago. Dream for one favour. You might fly. Close your eyes. Of nervous speculation, says Tricor spokesman L. Lee Silk, we're not just another gypsy corporation for the Confederacy to push around. They left us this space to us. When that gate reopens, if the Confederacy wants any say in the running of our worlds, then we're going to all have to sit down at the table and reach a reasonable compromise. It's a fair trade. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Hmm? For Christy's sakes, we've been at this for almost half an hour. Is there any brain left in that skull? Come on, concentrate on my voice. Tell me who you and where you are. I... I don't know. I don't remember anything. Confused. Vomiting? Good. Up, Chuck. Means you're probably going to survive the surgical trauma. You had me worried there for a second. My name's Hargrove, by the way. I live inside your eye patch. Actually, it's an eye patch. It's an implant patch. A chunk of computer drilled into your brain through the optic nerve. The cloth flap just covers, covers the scarring. Sorry about your hair. Apparently things falling out is a side effect. On the plus side, hey, your teeth are fine. What? Who? What? Who? Who did this to me? Why? Why would anyone? You asked them to, and they asked me to teach you. So sit back and strap your nethers, baby. It's time to learn to fly. Okay. Now the game starts off, and as you can see, we got pirates flying around here, represented by the ship. You got you. These things represent the different ways that you can travel from system to system, and the little war points. Now these red ones show little offside. Now, as you can see, the pirate ship managed to catch up to us and gives us a choice of a few options. Fight, beg for mercy, bribe or threaten. But as this is early in the game, we should be able to take them on relatively well. So what we'll do is we'll start off with a little fight scene. So we're going to go fight them. Now, combat is performed by taking shots of the enemy ships as you can see in the background. Now as you can see, certain bits of terrain can block. Now, we can't actually move our ship, but what we can do is we can swap between weapons. Now, if you notice, just down along here, little bars going up and down, there's a limit of how quickly we can use them, so they've got recharge rate. Now, when we defeat the enemies, little bits fly out of the ship, called loot. Now, if you put your cursor over them, you're able to gather them, and they'll get you various rewards. Now, on successful completion of killing the pirates, we met a notoriety. Now this notoriety can be useful. Sometimes when you come against pirates you get the option to threaten. And with a high enough notoriety and a skill wrong, they'll sometimes turn around and recognize you and decide to get the hell out of there rather than dying. 
but just fighting them is good old fun. Now, as you can see, we was, we start off with level 1, and because of that successful fight, we managed to achieve two levels all in one game. Now we can click OK to skip past it or go to see our profile. And as you can see, level 3. So we got 10 experience points. You get 5 experience points for every level. So what we can do is we've got 4 options we can put it in. What we're going to do is going to put a couple into each of the different skills. And we're going to increase our weapons by a little bit more. Now, as we're here, I'll go through the screen a little bit more. As you can see, we've got our character just down here and the amount of wealth that we currently got, which is 5,152 credits. Now, the player, as you can see, flips between this player screen and the world map. Faction shows you who the different factions are in the universe, whether or not you're aggressive or passive to them, and your current uh, ranking with them. Now, cargo shows you what you have, both in your hold, We've got a cargo space of 50, and also items which you may be able to equip. Now, if you pick up an item mid-game whilst in space, you can't immediately equip them. You have to go back to a planet in order to equip them. The map shows a good overarching region of the region and shows you the major spaceways, but it doesn't show doesn't show you the individual routes in between. Now, apparently, if you click, which I just discovered, on one of these areas, it'll do auto-travel and takes you to the area, which is just as well we want to go to this planet. Hargrove. Right now, you're on the trade lane map. Ships keep to the designated lanes, so you'll see a lot of other craft going past. If they have a red flag, that means they ain't friendly. Some, ooh, okay, okay, feels something freaky here. Anyway, you've, you have to play around. Go between planets and head back to Eriden when you're done. Okay, so, also we can have a look at our missions, and this is just going over what we've just been told. Experiment with flying around, head to Aerodam when you're done. Now, as you saw, we can travel down the major spaceways, but what we can also do is you can click on individual planets like this. And as you can see, we've arrived at the different asteroids. We can see these new little lanes that appear as we go down. And these don't appear until you're literally on top of them. And we just got into one more fight. Now what we'll do is we'll go down to Threaten, as I was saying. And look at me. And back off. Now we get some little bonuses. We've got a 73% chance of succeeding here. And we succeeded. So. They decide to leave us alone this time. And we don't actually have to fight them. Now one of the things you can do. As you can see here it says Dock. Now if you dock on a set of asteroids, you're going to be able to actually try and find some special bonuses. Sometimes it's a bite, sometimes it's something else. Now we can man or scan the area. Man? Mine. We'll go and mine the area. See what we can pick up doing this. Okay, so we've left some mines in the area and we'll skip on to the next area. We'll have a little scan of this area. And see what we can find this way. Okay, a drone's a search planet. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything this time. Now, you can find anything from a few resources up to equipment that you can put onto your aircraft and um, your spaceship. Now, one of the things to note, if you notice, just in the background, flying around, asteroids. But we'll come to that in just a moment. Beep, beep. I don't believe it. I've got a sensor. This implant has a beeping sensor. That's what's wrong. I've been rated effed for the family friendly. Someone is going to get into serious grief for this, but right now press downwards arrow or double click on the planet to land. Now that's one of the amusing little in, uh, bits about this game. They actually do humour like that, and you'll see a few references to other games and even movies in this. And this is one of the cute little bits which they do with the dialogue. But what we're going to do is we're going to land on the planet for the time being. Now, just as you notice, just up there, it said ship auto repaired for 88 credits. Now, as you when you land onto a facility of a planet, it'll automatically repair any damage that your ship has taken. Now, Hargro. Now, if you click on the you there, that vessel has stolen property. There's a bounty out for its return. Surrender now, or you'll be taken by force. Hey, come on! I'm just trying to give a tutorial here. Yeah, he references the fact he's given a tutorial. <laughs> you got 30 seconds to comply. Hmm, let's panic. 
Oh god, oh god, he's got guns, he's got guns, what do we do? Do we run? Should we stay and shoot him? I should I should call the police. I don't know, this ship was stolen. It's not my fault, what do we do? Why is this ship stolen? It was the only one available at short notice. Look, calm down, will you? Breathe deeply. Picture rabbits or something. Right, right. <laughs> right. Breath. Breathe. <sighs> deeply. <sighs> rabbits. 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 The ship he's flying is only a lowing tug. We can take it easily. Don't panic. Or panic less. Let's just get into orbit before the port authorities start asking questions. Okay. So the game now asks us to leave as part of a mission. So what we can do is to leave the planet, we click on the leave option. And that lets us take off from when we've docked. But we'll come back to the planets and just take a look at the stuff. Now here we go, he's going to give us a little tutorial about battle. But we've already been through that. So we'll just quickly go through this and not read everything out. Because it's just going on with what I said. So what we're going to do is going to start off with a little barrage of shit shots and then we're going to use our missiles now the missiles at the moment are currently one of the most effective because they've got a very short recharge rate and there we go we took out the port authority people and as you can see as part of the loot not only did we get food but we also got droppable resource food which we can sell back now it's just right hard grow let's get the hell away from this rock that guy might have friends coming Take us to Turin. We'll get repairs out there. I swear, I hate Eridan. Wherever I go, it's just bad luck after bad luck. What? What was your bad luck last time? I died. <laughs> right. So, we could either tra travel to the next place, which is down here, as marked by that little yellow arrow, or, ignoring better advice, we could just dock on the planet again. Now, one of the things is, somebody. this is a random event that sometimes happens. And we get a trade offer with somebody offering to sell goods to us. Five luminars at nearly 30,000 credits. Now, we could accept if we had the money, but we don't. Now, usually these deals are quite good and it's often worth considering taking them because you can make a quick, fairly immediate profit on them. But for the moment, we're going to have to decline. Okay, just the last few things through here. We've seen these three at the top. We'll go down to Port Info. And it just gives you a little information about the planet itself. We're not going to go through that. We can also go have a look at the bar. Now the bar allows you to talk to some of the patrons here, but also allows you to pick up little re missions. These missions will give you the different jobs to do. It could be ferrying, kill somebody, or as you can see here, this would be scanning planets in the different system. And if you succeed, you need to come back and then you can pick up the reward that was given. Market. Now the market allows you to buy and sell cargo. Each of the planets have a different amount of value with them. So some places will be cheaper to buy and cheaper to, and better to sell. And also random events can happen on planets which increase all the goods overall or decrease some of them or all of them. So it's worth shopping around and just paying attention to them. Because some of the planets I've seen, narcotics for instance, were selling for, buying for well over 2,000. So you could probably ship them around from planet to planet. This system is very reminiscent of Elite, one of the original space trading games. Now what we can do is we can go over to have a look at our food, it sells for 212 a unit. If we sell it off, if you notice we also get experience. So you don't have to just fight in order to get experience, you can build up your level through trading. So it's not limiting you in how you can raise your level, it's very much up to you. Now if we go to the mechanic, we can see some of the bits that we've currently got on board. We've got the Bolt Cannon Mark 1 and the Basset Hound Missiles. And as you can see, what I was talking about, the recharge time, the Bolt Cannon is quite slow, whereas the Basset Hound Missiles are quite fast. This actually means that the Basset Hound Missiles are probably one of the most effective weapons that we've got at the time being. Now, unfortunately, this place doesn't have anything that we can buy or sell at the moment. Okay, and finally, ships. Now, you can, as you can see, there's a selection of ships that you can buy. The biggest thing is that it just changes a few bits. You got cargo space so we could carry more, better hull, and also carry more or less items. And also part of the thing when you're leveling up, you need a certain piloting level. So in order to use this one, we need a piloting level of twelve. Okay. What we'll do is we'll just carry on to the next plant. What we'll do is take one mission and then we will carry on with the story. Supply air conditioning? No, that one seems. We'll try and look for something a little bit closer. 
Ah, discrete transportation, fairly easy. We'll take this one. Okay, yeah, Erendin's team with cheap labour. You know what? Ever since the latest Chancery got into power, Charity Hall, we've been creeping into this reform legislation. Minimum wage, maximum hours, it's beginning to take people's heads. Workers from off-world, they're even cheaper than locals. They never complain, and plus it's, plus it's nice to give migrants a chance. It's good for cultural diversity. I've got a good labour transport operation going. We just need people like you to handle the nuts and bolts, back and forth aspect of it. Got another load of Camden that needs bring it in right away what do you say okay as you can see we'll go to the missions it tells us that we've got the mission to do we go to count caladam okay so what we'll do is we'll leave off and we'll check the map and we'll see what caladam is so we go to map can we see anything nearby no, we managed to pick one of the few places in the entire map that we can't get to. <laughs> so, what we can do is to instead, let's go to our missions and forfeit the mission. So what we'll do is we'll just land back on the planet and have one last go trying to pick up a reasonable mission that we can do. Improve workhouse conditions, property owner, jack and trade and negotiations. We'll try that. So let's just quickly skip through, see what we've got to do, and see where we've got to go. Track down when ship, find out why he's stopping supplying his aerodam. Okay. So, what do we do? And then we need to leave this area and see where it takes us. Right, and there we go, we've got a little blue arrow showing us where to go. So what we're going to do, is we're going to skip through these areas. Oh, avoid those pirates. Aha, that's the ship that we're after. So we're going to go have a speak to him. Wayne, no, no, I'm not selling these people anymore. It's wrong, it's just plain wrong. Do you even know what I was peddling? That wasn't just fairy dust or old king's mist. I was selling sims, lifetime sims. Feel a lifetime in an hour. Experience memories ripped from straight from someone else's brain. Know how addicted that is? Not very at all. If you're using clean sims, but you think a bunch of burnt out labourers from Elderland can afford to go clean? I didn't realise the sims I've been selling are one use only. They have to buy a new have to buy a new after every hit. It's a racket, and I won't keep doing it. Not for any price, you shouldn't either. And it gives you a choice which you can do. Either saying try and pressure him to do it more, you yes, could say it's wrong and you should stop, maybe you can tell him maybe he could do it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and pressure him into doing this. And he's giving none of that. So, what can we do at the moment? We can go back and speak to the guy. Let's see, oh, we're just going to have another little session with the pirates. And what we'll do is we'll try and threaten and scare him off. As you can see, the bribery success is less. Okay, we succeeded and we scared them off this time. Right, we'll quickly land. And here you go, here's another one of the random events. Several large scale industry looms have broken down. This means the consequences, looms are in high demand, so the price is going to be a lot bigger. So as you can see, the little arrow is pointing here, showing us where to go on this planet. And we can talk to this guy and carry on. And he's just telling us, he's letting us know. And we get a little bit of money. Okay. Right. And there you go. This has been a little look at um, Black Market. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a very good game. It's definitely worth uh, the money with the Indie Bundle. I would definitely recommend getting it for this game alone. Okay, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.